invite in Life with Elizabeth, featuring Del Moore. Incident number one in the life of Elizabeth occurred a few months ago when Elizabeth was the willing victim of a magazine article. Now, as I recall it, it had something to do with being your own carpenter or something like that. Shall we investigate? There they are, Elizabeth and Alvin. Elizabeth is the pretty one. Elizabeth, how are you tonight? Have you shown Alvin the magazine article yet? Well, go ahead. Let's see what happens. Tired, honey? Hmm. What does that mean? What? I asked you if you were tired, and you said, hmm. That's a neutral expression, honey. It means that I'm not tired at all unless you have something for me to do. In which case, I'm exhausted. <laughs> you ought to have that fixed. <laughs> There's nothing for you to do, darling. Oh, no, that's good. Unless you'd like to take a look at the article. No more gasoline fumes in your car. Our gasoline contains chlorophyll. Mm. Oh, silly. Over here. Here. Modernize your home at practically no expense. Go on. Knock out that useless wall. Tear down that ugly doorway. Remove that cracked ceiling. Alvin, this whole magazine is just full of good ideas like that. Why don't we wait for a nice, quiet hurricane? Come here, Miss. Say, what is this thing? The house wreckers manual? Look, sweetie, if we knock this wall out, can't you just see the possibilities? Yeah, we'd have a hole in the house. Alvin, don't try to be funny. And we could knock a doorway through here. Oh, Elizabeth, please. And then, if we take this wall out from maybe here... To about here. Wait, Elizabeth, as long as you're going to do that, why don't we just make this living room into a garage, a two-car garage, we'll put the entrance over here, and you and I will go out and live where the car is. Honey, how did you know? Oh, no. That's exactly what I had in mind. Of course, we can't do it right away, I know that. No, it's getting late. No, I mean, it takes money, darling, but it's fun to think about it. Why don't we just measure this one wall? All right. Hand me the tape measure. Where is it? It's right there on the table. Where's the table? Right there. Oh, I cut the legs off of it. <laughs> you cut. Elizabeth, this is a perfectly good table. It's a better table now. See, now when you knock the coffee on the floor, the cups won't break. I suppose you got this out of the home records manual. Page 47. Go on, read it. Page 47. Perfectly good table. Alvin... Do you think we could get two cars in here if we, if we raise the roof a few inches? Speaking of raising the roof, I've got a few things I'd like to say. There's one... What's the matter? What's the big idea of the picture frame without a picture? Well, if you want a picture, why don't you just turn it on? That's the television set. The television set? <laughs> Elizabeth, for goodness sake, whatever happened to the beautiful walnut cabinet we had? I made a cigarette box out of it. A cigarette box? Elizabeth, don't be ridiculous. That cabinet was this high, four feet at least. Well, you smoke king-size cigarettes now, don't you? <laughs> this is a gag, isn't it? Isn't what? You know, all of this. All of what? You know, making the living room into a garage and cutting the legs off of the table, the TV set. It is a gag, isn't it? Is it? Well, isn't it? Isn't what? Elizabeth! <laughs> Oh, I thought for a minute or two it wasn't. <laughs> wasn't what? Oh, don't start. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling. No more gags. But seriously, you, you look on page 47. 47. There. Modernize your furniture. Give your home that modern touch by lowering the old-fashioned high furniture. All you need is a saw. That's all we need. Turn you loose with a saw. Honey, I have a surprise for you. You remember that big overstuffed chair we had in the den? You didn't give it away. Well, of course I didn't give it away. I know how you love that chair. You don't know what a relief that was, honey. But you have to admit it was pretty old-fashioned. Elizabeth, no. No, you, no, you wouldn't. Of, co of course you wouldn't. Look on page 48. Don't be a fuddy-duddy. That old leather chair can be modernized in a jiffy. Elizabeth, I know this will be a disappointment to you, but I can't let you do it. I did it! 
Now, you close your eyes. They close by themselves. Keep them closed. Don't you open them. See the footstool, but where's my big overstuffed chair? Oh, now, you... honey, don't be like that. Don't be silly. Come on, you sit in it. And believe it or not, find it's more comfortable than it ever was. You mean this This is it here? Yeah. This is it? <laughs> oh, <listen. laughs> I'll bet that's the first time you've seen your knees in years. <laughs> it's not funny, Alison. Oh, honey, your legs are much too long. Wait a minute. Elizabeth, you mean you did all of this with one saw? You smoke. It's <laughs> awful. To hear you, you think I was going to cut you down to set the chair. Well, you never know what's on page 49. Alvin, do we have a chisel? What for? I want to cut a hole in the floor. Uh, I shall leave you at this point, Elizabeth. Why? Can you give me one good reason why I shouldn't be in the other room watching television? No. Help me up. <laughs> good night, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, aren't you ashamed? <laughs> Number two in the life of Elizabeth occurred in February of this year. As I recall it, Alvin was explaining the whole situation pretty thoroughly to his friend Harry, so why don't we let him explain it to us as well? Harry, what I'm trying to tell you is that Elizabeth is going to hypnotize me. What do you mean, how do I know? I found a book right here. It says... How to hypnotize your friends. And the last time I heard, I was a friend of hers. <laughs> well, you'd kick up a fuss, too, if your wife was going to hypnotize you. It's not a funny thing to have happen to you. No. Besides, I'm touchy. After all, what do you think I'm... It's just one of those things that you don't... Well, why don't we do that? Why don't we get together and just go to the fights any night you say? Swell. Yeah. See you later. Bye. I could tell you were talking to Harry, honey, so I won't even ask who that was. Mm -hmm. You're, uh, getting to be quite a little Houdini these days. It's all just a matter of concentration. Mm-hmm. What are you reading? Why don't you read my mind and find out? All right, I'll try. Ah, uh, not very much to work with. Mm -mm, you won't like the book. How do you know? Well, I happen to know your taste in fiction. You don't like books about the Middle Ages. Aha, uh -huh, you slipped up this time. There's nothing in there about the Middle Ages. See? There is, too. There isn't a person in there under 60. <laughs> Elizabeth, do you really think that you can learn to hypnotize people by reading that book? No, I don't, darling. Not really, but it should be interesting. Yeah. Besides, it's about a lot of other things than hypnosis. You didn't read the whole title. It's... How to hypnotize your friends and other accumulata. I'll tell you one thing. No one's going to hypnotize my accumulata. <laughs> that means accumulated facts. Now here, for instance. Here's one of those tests they give the kids in the third grade. Do you want to try it? You know, the third grade. You sure you're not overestimating my intelligence, Elizabeth? Oh, honey, let's not be so sensitive. We both know you can pass it, but it might be fun. Come on. You sit over there and that'll be your desk. Come on, let's play school. Oh, honey, at our age. Come on, please. Oh, now look. Oh, this will be fun. Come on. No, we're going to do this. I'd have brought up a teacher, or an apple, I should say, for the teacher. Well, but how did you know? Well, that's the first question. It is? You take an apple. Come on, apple. take an apple. No, that's a pear. <laughs> take an apple. This is an apple. Now cut it in half. Cut it in half again. Now cut those in half. And cut those in half again. Now what do you have? Oh, this is easy. And don't you dare say applesauce. <laughs> huh? Missed the first question. Missed it? Mm -hmm. Oh, now right. this next one is a visual question. Mm -hmm. All right. What am I doing? 
Well, you're just standing there. Alvin, don't be grouchy just because you missed the first question. What am I doing? Elizabeth, you're standing there like a nudnik. Honey, put yourself in the place of a kid in the third grade. What am I doing? If I put myself in kindergarten, you'd still be standing there like a nudnik. Can't you see? I I'm going upstairs. Your feet are not even moving. I'm in an elevator. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't do very well on that one either, huh? They'll never get you to the fourth grade at this rate. I would rather stay in the third grade, if you don't mind. My father's in the fourth grade, and I don't want to embarrass him. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's cute, honey. <laughs> I like that every time you tell it. <laughs> oh, let's see, this one is... Um... Excuse me. Next. Well, you'd never be able to do this next one. Who wouldn't be able to do what next one? Go ahead, try me. Talk Third grade. Okay, pick a color from one to ten. Pick a color from one to ten. Well, either that or, or take a number from pink to blue. That makes a lot of sense. Well, are you doing it? Yes, I've subtracted seven from purple. Good, what's the difference? Yeah, you're right. What's the difference? <laughs> Here's this part about hypnosis. Elizabeth, please don't try any of that mental stuff on me. Hmm. Color from one to... According to this, hypnotism is nothing more than the domination of one mind over another. In other words, if, if my mind dominated yours, I could get you to do anything I wanted to, couldn't I? Assuming, of course, that your mind could dominate mine, yes. <laughs> Come on, Alvin, let's see whose mind's the strongest. Elizabeth, for goodness sake, you know how strong my mind is. You can't try no, and... Come on, I'll stand right here. Oh. Look into my eyes, honey, and go to sleep. No, you go to sleep, Elizabeth. Go to sleep, Alvin. You go to sleep. Alvin, sleep. You go to sleep. You're tired, Alvin. You go to sleep. You're very tired. You go to sleep. You're very, very tired. I'm pooped. Tired. Where's the black coffee, Elizabeth? Oh. Sleep. Sleep. Alvin? Alvin? <laughs> Alvin, wiggle your nose. <laughs> um, bark like a dog. <laughs> All right, Alvin. So you see, it's impossible to put me under one of those stupid spells. After all, I have a strong mind. A Come on, let's try it again. Why waste my time with it? <laughs> Come on, now, look into my eyes and go to sleep. No, you go to sleep. Go to sleep, Alvin. You go to sleep, Alvin. Alvin, you're tired. Go to sleep. You're very tired. You sleep. You're very, very tired. You go to sleep. You're tired. Sleep. 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 Alvin? Alvin? <laughs> More fun than a barrel of monkey. <laughs> Alvin, no. Don't. <laughs> Alvin, be a lighthouse. <laughs> All right, Alvin, that's enough. <laughs> Alvin, Alvin, come on. Alvin? 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 Honey? Alvin! Oh, Hello, Mama? Well, Alvin's a lighthouse. He's blinking and I can't turn him off. Mama, there is no time to make jokes. He looks like low tide at Long Beach. <laughs> Mama, I hit the... Well, I did, I hit the duck. Never mind, Mama. Good night, dear. <laughs> you mean to tell me you were never hypnotized at all? Of course not. And I hope that teaches you a lesson, Elizabeth. Oh, honey, don't ever scare me like that. You scared me to death. I didn't mean to frighten you, sweetie. Oh, but you did. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why did you try to hypnotize me in the first place? Well, it was kind of silly. I, yeah. I just figured maybe if I hypnotized you, 
You'd buy me a new hat. Goodness sake, all you have to do is ask. You know that. I know it. I won't do it anymore. How much was the hat you wanted? Um, $37.50. But... Number three in the life of Elizabeth occurred the night Mr. Fuddy showed some home movies. Well, perhaps I should explain that Mr. Fuddy is Alvin's boss, so Alvin had to watch Mr. Fuddy's movies. But Elizabeth has no boss, and nothing was going to... Come to think of it, they're discussing it right now. Let's go listen in. Here are the car keys, honey. Have a good time. You sure you won't come with me? <laughs> no, thanks. I can't think of anything worse than watching Mr. Fuddy show home movies. <laughs> Goodbye, honey. Goodbye, honey. Honey, look, why don't you go with me? They might be good. You never know. Mr. Oh. Fuddy said when it comes to making movies, he's one of the best. I'll bet. <laughs> no kidding. He said that he takes his hat off to no one. I bet he gets some pretty peculiar haircuts. <laughs> you won't go with me? No, thank you. Well, I'll tell you how you look. You're in the pictures, you know. Well, you go ahead, honey. You... Bye. I'm what? You're in the picture. Change your mind? <laughs> well, sweetheart, after all, he is your boss, and I don't want to put you on the spot. It's the yeah, least yeah, I can oh, do. Yeah, oh, well, it. sure, do me a lot of favors. Yeah, that's right. Hi, everybody. Hi, Mr. Hello, Elizabeth. Buddy. Well, hello, hello Alvin. Buddy. How are you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> well, everything's all ready to go. <laughs> Alvin is this cute. Look, he's got it fixed oh. up like a regular little theater. Oh, brother, I've seen a lot of places my time. And boy, this is a real setup for the living room. You've got a real... <laughs> living room. <laughs> uh, do you intend to serve... Sandwiches during the performance, Mr. Fuddy? Oh, well, I couldn't find the original screen for the movie, so I'm going to throw the picture on the refrigerator door. Works fine. I mean, you're really going to use the refrigerator for the screen? Uh-huh. Well, honey, you've heard of that, haven't you? It's called, uh, Refrigerama. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something's wrong. I made a joke and everybody laughed. Even you. Well, we all feel good in anticipation of a delightful evening. Yeah. I'd rather think it was a good joke. Oh, it was a good joke. <laughs> Are you going to serve sandwiches during the production, she says. <laughs> well, won't you sit down here and, 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 and we'll go... I don't that either. Uh, <clears throat> I've, got the, I've got the pictures we took at the picnic last week. Oh. You mean we're in them? Yeah. Uh, I can hardly wait to see me. <clears throat> Just think, honey, we're, we're making our screen debut. Uh, no, you're making your refrigerator door debut. <laughs> 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 I, I, uh, shall we start? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> you're funny how nervous you get. Yeah. You all set, Mr. Fuddy? All set. Oh, oh, say, Alvin, the light switch is right here. When I say lights... Will you turn them off? Okay. All okay. set? All set. Good. Aren't you going to sit down? Oh, I will as soon as I start the projector. Okay, light. 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 Uh, turn them on again, Alvin. Why, what's the matter? I can't see the projector. Light. <laughs> what did you do, Mr. Fuddy? Try to turn on one of the books? <laughs> <laughs> I'm awfully sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. These things happen. Sure they do. Don't let it bother you. Well, all set? All set. Light. 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 Yeah. Oops, light. Oh, light. Light. <laughs> you must think I'm awful clumsy. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it, Mr. Fuddy. You forgot to aim it, that's all. Sure, don't let it bother you. <laughs> all set? All set. Okay. Light. 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 Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess it's a little high this time. Yeah, it's, it's a little far, too. It's showing on the house across the street. <laughs> Light. Light. Gene, whiz, I, I, it was just a little high, that's all. <laughs> Why don't you remove some of the books, Mr. Mm -hmm. Buddy? Oh, oh, that's a good idea. Alvin, will you take about five of these books off of yeah, here? Let sure. me know. Here, yeah. just, please, you just take those off. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Let me put a piece of that. 
Elizabeth. I... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> there. Well, that ought to do it, huh? Oh, okay, all, all set. set? Now. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Light, light, light. There. <laughs> well, where's the picture? I don't know. But I feel like somebody's staring at the back of my head. Oh, light. Light. Mr. Buddy, what's the matter? I want to see the pictures. Oh, Forget man. it. The least you can do is put some of these books back. Oh. He forgot his library card. Oh, <laughs> this is no time to be funny, Elizabeth. She was only trying to make a little joke. This is exactly the time to be funny. You're both getting irritable over nothing. I don't see any smile on your face. Alvin, will you put these books back? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Buddy. <laughs> Now, don't you think that's a little high? We'll be watching it across the street again. Is that supposed to be a clever remark, Elizabeth? She only meant it as a joke, Alvin. Oh. Now, wait a minute. Let's all calm down. Mr. Fuddy's just irritated by the projector, and, and you and I are on edge because we're so anxious to see ourselves on the screen. Now, let's start all over again. I'll buy that. Elizabeth's a sensible girl, Alvin. Well, I guess we're all set. Mr. Fuddy, you laugh. Huh? No, uh, just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> now you laugh. No, you laugh. <laughs> now you see everybody's in a good mood again. Uh, uh, Here we go. Okay. Light. Light. Here we go. Uh, that's it. Come on, sit down, Mr. Fuddy. Okay. Uh. Oh, hey, that's better. Hey, who is she? I don't remember inviting her to the picnic. Don't worry, Mr. Putty. She didn't eat much. <laughs> oh, light. Light. I never saw anything like it. I Time to laugh, Mr. Fuddy. Elizabeth, oh. cut out that laugh stuff. And look at you. Elizabeth, cut out that laugh stuff. Elizabeth's right. Laugh, Alvin. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see, everybody's in a good mood. Yeah. Okay, light. 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 Oh, oh, well, now that's better. <laughs> He's got titles and everything. Yeah, it's clear as a bell. What titles? I don't see any titles. Right there. Right. It's a short one. Light. 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 Well, that was a beautiful picture, Mr. Fuddy. The, the snow, snow bank with the word snowflake written on it. Snowflake is the name of the refrigerator. Oh, brother. What are you doing now? I didn't put the film in the projector. Of all of the idiotic things, Alvin, brother. This is... Alvin. Don't get carried away. Remember, he's still your boss. Do you always keep the film in the refrigerator, Mr. Fuddy? <laughs> uh, well, it makes sense, honey. After all, it was a picnic film, and he didn't want the food to spoil. <laughs> Why aren't we having a good time? Jolly. Light! 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 Mr. Fuddy, that's beautiful. Look, you at, like it? Look at the colors, honey. I had no idea we brought that much food to the picnic. Oh, lights! Lights! What? What's the matter? That was a beautiful shot of the picnic table. That isn't the picnic table. I forgot to close the door of the refrigerator. Well, let's close it. You close it! Mr. Fuddy! I brought you two here to slee a film. I mean, flip your seam. You slee a. F <laughs> You're gonna see a film tonight. Lights. Lights, yes. Light, lights. Lights. Oh, lights. Light. Yes. All right. Okay. Here we go. I said lights, Alvin. I'm trying, Mr. Buddy. They don't work. I. <laughs> uh, I think the switch is worn out, Mr. Buddy. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh. No. Oh, I don't Mr. Funny, what's the matter? I wanted to see myself in the movies. Oh, Mr. Oh. Funny, don't. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mr. Funny. No, you can still see yourself in the movies. Here, look here. See? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, there. There. there you are. Yeah. Look, here I am in my red dress. Uh -huh. No, wait. No, that's the tomato surprise. Oh, there I am with a mustard on my nose. Oh, yeah, right? that was a... Honey, look at the dog. dog. I took a bite of my sandwich. Yeah. Oh, that's a fun <laughs> I like thing. that. Hey. Say goodbye to the people. Goodbye, Goodbye everybody. everybody. Oh, I like this right here where you turn the book. Yes. Now here to say goodbye to you is the lovely star of our show, Betty White. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We've had fun as usual, and I hope you have. Will you join us again? Until then, once more, goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>